Right, I've left Shipham. The church is down the hill more. It's a very dangerous road. I've just managed to cross over and get over a stile. I've got captured some more images of the fort and Bamwell Hill, which is becoming more evident. This is a little track I use to get across the fields to get on the West Mendip Way. Um, which is, this is West Mendip Way as well, but uh, this is a, a route I use quite a lot either way. I seem to seem to do it more the other way. Um, and it, the thing is, I, I had a vehicle for a good six years, right? So some of my walks I didn't, hadn't done for a while because I, I didn't need to, I could drive out to Robert, I'll put it that way. It was so much easier just to leave the camper van with all your stuff in it, flask of hot tea when you got back after the walk, no rush. You didn't have to think at all about rushing. And you could stay out seven, eight, eight o'clock in the evening walking. Not anymore. They cut an hour off each end. So there's one less in the morning, or less you've got to pay, of course. Um, and there's one less. I cannot, I really can't believe that they chopped that last bus. That, there's only half past five. You know, people have got to work. I don't know how they're supposed to manage. So I'm going to, I will have to put my foot down, but there's an awful lot of like bumpy, jumpy, slippery, you know, walking bits to do yet before I can sort of stride out. I mean, even going down that West Mendip Way is very bumpy in places. You know, it's uh, uneven surfaces nearly all the way down where it's been carved up by um, the weather and, and rain a lot. You know, it's... Uh, So I just thought I'd video a little bit of this going this way. This is the sort of place I wouldn't be coming if they close the buses off again. So I like to get some of these walks in. That's what I'm doing really. I'm expecting there'd be an awful lot of shutdowns in the winter. I think they're more or less going to cocoon us all. Um, it's going to be well, I don't know what's going to happen, to be quite honest. we got stickheads in power. That's the trouble. And they're not, they're, they're not being honest with the people. They keep changing all the time. Really disturbing people's minds. And they're doing it on purpose. They really are. I mean, I'm, I'm fed up with them. I didn't vote them in. And there's a lot more people still stuck in a bubble. Just don't realise it yet. You've got to be in the 1%. But hopefully the rest of us will realise. I've realised since I was probably about six. But oh, some people take a long time because they're tempted, lured, tricked. So I'm going across a little troll bridge in a minute. This looks like it could be quite slippery, doesn't it? I couldn't see any cows when I was up high on the other side of the road there a minute ago. But this field I'm supposed to be going into is usually, um, not all the time, it hasn't always got cows in it. But the thing is, a lot of the summer it has. But and they could all be gathered up the, the gate I've got to get over. That's what's worrying me just got to take my time because although this looks dry it's very it's like having roller skates under you when you tread on a twig it can actually roll you down sometimes it's easier going up than down so anyway we're going across the troll bridge so you can get a stream coming down through here um, that's it 
and this is the West Mendip Way. Sometimes, I mean, it is summer, but there is a stream trickling, but it can be a lot fiercer than that. So we're on the right track. West Mendip Way. West Mendip Way. I've got to climb up now, keeping fingers crossed with cows. Over and out. This is Sheila on the 15th of September 2020, and I've done quite a few videos. Right, I'm up on a hill near Shippham, near the uh, West Mendip Way. I'm on this hill, I can't remember the name of it at the moment, but it's overlooking Shippham, which is over there. There's Sanford's Hill there, and the quarry will be over there. Go over a bit. There is Banwell Hill Fort, the Iron Age Hill Fort with the plateau. I'm videoing it again because it's getting closer each time I can. Now it's much more of a pancake shape. Then you go through more of its wood. Then you go near the the castle will be around there somewhere. The waterworks. There's Banwell Hill, and that's the field with the stone of placed by William Beard of the unknown skeleton in that field there. That is Banwell Hill and Wood. That is not the hill fort, although it was probably part of it. I think it probably was, seeing as that if you look over to Whirlbury Hill Fort, it's one big long hill fort, isn't it? Although there's a little gap there and there's a golf course there, it is still one big hill fort. And I think that was the same. One big hill fort. I didn't know I could see it so clearly here, so it's really, really, really pleasing me and uh, fantastic that <sighs> over and out. Right, I'm just going to video a bit while I'm going along now. I've got my breath back. I took the bag off for a minute. It's baking hot. <sighs> I haven't looked at my watch because it will interfere with the amount of time I devote myself to video in the hill for it. Um, <sighs> No sign of any cows at the moment. Now I'm keeping this side because they might all be by some trees there. I don't want them to see me as I approach. <laughs> so basically, if they do come, I'm going to have to try and get for a fence over there. So there we go, folks. Another quick view. Brilliant, isn't it? But it's not the, the view I thought when I was up there on the hill fort, Robero. I couldn't see that one because Sanford Hill and Woods masked it. I was picking up on the Banwell Hill because it does look very prominent and dominant, actually. So... Go back. There's a little gate up here in a minute. None of it is dead fresh. It doesn't mean they're not about to come around the corner or anything, though, see? Let's just go down a bit. It's a bit flatter down here. It's very bumpy. It's ankle twisting. It's very uneven here. Yeah, I don't know if there's a farm nearby where they go. Robro Hill Fort over there. Dolbury Warren Hill Fort. Sanford Hill. I walked all the top of that earlier. Went through that little copse there. So I've done the whole lot that way. That's looking more recent. I don't know where they are. That's the problem. I don't want to bump into them. That looks more recent. When I get round the corner, so I'm going to be quiet now. I'm going to turn off that shade. No, I'll keep it going. I haven't looked at my watch. I don't. I don't want to look at my watch until I've got over that gate. 
because that'll make me panic more about time and getting getting the bus. God, it's ever so bumpy here. You can tell cows have been here. It's so uneven. I just hope they're not all around the gate because that's a barbed wire fence there. Sometimes they shelter near the trees, you see. I can see the style. I'm keeping it rolling at the moment. There's also a drinking bath thing there, which they would use a lot in this hot weather. They're often up there, near those trees. They seem to go up there a lot. But I imagine them to be down here in the shade, see? Right, we've managed to get by. Thank goodness, but they are about. They will be about. I deliberately came that side so I could get views of the hill fort. Normally I come straight along here. But I would have missed all the hill fort if I'd done that. Now we've got to go across another field. <sighs> Over a big stile. Not easy to get over either. Yeah, they must make, they don't realise some of us have got little legs. It's not only that, it's getting putting your leg down the other side. Just zoom in. I don't know if that's on now. Just zoom in to Robo Hill for, for the last time. I was sat up there and had my picnic earlier. Right up there. Right up there I was. Walking all up round the ramparts. On the 15th of September 2020. I'm expecting to see more of the hill fort as I come through. I can see Banwell Hill. I think I've done enough of that now, anyway. So, I just got to get across this field and join up on the main path going down to Winscombe. And Depending what time I get to Winscombe, whether I'll walk up the strawberry line to get it in town or whether I'll just hover about. Um, there is a garage so you can get a cold drink if you need it. I mean, I've got me water. I don't splash out a lot. I mean, when I go to Cheddar, I normally have an ice cream after a walk, nearly always. And when I had Alberta, I used to get sausage and chips and a can of Coke and sit in the van and eat it. I used to love all that, you know. I miss, I do miss that. I do miss that freedom of, with Alberta. Um, I can't really explain it really. Um, to be able to go all over the country with her, um, all up, everywhere. You know, I'm talking about Scotland, Wales, Cornwall, the lot, Kent, Yorkshire, everywhere. To do all that with her and have really great times, you know. She never let me down when we were away. She never broke down, nothing. She might have been a bit tatty, you know, upholstery-wise and all that, but she was a solid little van, really. I didn't want to part with her. I was, up, I was um, to be quite up, I was upset. 
when I had to give her away. <laughs> it hurt me a lot. It still does. Because I felt as if I'd been cheated of her. That they were trying to rip me off for an expensive MOT. They were trying to rip me off. And uh, I couldn't afford it, to say the truth. And I didn't have anyone to ask. And I didn't want to ask anybody. So I lost her. I had to give her away for probably a third of the price she was worth, or even less. And yet she, she was, she's a rare breed now, because they're all getting old, those vehicles now. He's even got his own club, Tolbert Express Club. And I couldn't seem to get hold of anyone for help from them. So I had to let her go, and it, it does hurt. I mean, I'm still getting out, and I'm still a free person. But over and out a minute.